And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Free America. And I am Clay Douglas. I am the Free America. I am the only Free America. There ain't no new Free America out there. I don't have an employee named Steve. And I damn sure don't have a friend named Steve or a manager named Steve. So if you find somebody out there passing out flyers, got my picture on it, got my name on it, got the name of the show on it, if they uh, if they don't have my voice, if they if you can't get them on Skype, if you can't see them, then if it's not me, they ain't real. They're lying pieces of shit. They're more Jewish garbage, stern employees, stern fans, They're trying to copy Stern's kind of a radio. They think it's funny. I don't. I don't think it's funny at all. I think it's a. I think it's a criminal. And if I can uh, track these son of a bitches down, they keep telling me, "I want to work with you, play. I work with you, play. I." I, I they will not come anywhere near me because if they get in arms range of me, I'll have them in handcuffs. I'll have the police drag them away for numerous crimes that they've committed, like impersonating an officer. I'm sick of these criminals. They think it's a game. They think it's a game. And a lot of the police think it's a game because you – can't uh, you can't uh, prosecute them? They say, "Oh, well, they're probably in Nigeria." Well, maybe they're not. Then maybe they're not. I've got locators that there. Got them located in, up in Colorado and some places there in California. And of course, you know Stearns over there in New York. So there's ways to find them. If I had the police behind me, but unfortunately, some of those police are probably following the uh, Jews that want to take down Trump. But we got a few thousand bikers out there that know who I am, that can identify with me, that have been reading my magazines 30 years. They take me seriously. I see, I see, we got some. uh, Guess it ain't a uh, normal guess. We just get rid of you chicken shit motherfuckers. Good name. Ready for fun? Am I taking calls again? Maybe. If I know who you are, if I know where you are, if you attend, if you uh, contact me here, you tell me here in the chat room who you are, where you are, and why the fuck you want to talk to me, maybe. Otherwise, I'll just kick your ass out right now. How about that? I'm ready for fun. My boots warmed up, and I'm ready to put it up out of the ass. Yeah, the chief, uh, yeah, he would like to do it. I gave him my card. He's got my show. He listens to my show. And, you know, folks, I've been doing this radio show in my magazine for well over probably 40 years now, approaching 40 years. Hello, Phil. How are you? Glad to see you out there. Yeah, thank you for identifying yourself. Goodbye. 503. Just taking my, hey, thanks for taking my call. Who are you? Yeah, my sister turned me on to your show because uh, I agree with you about the Jews in this country. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, you know, if she first heard you on Howard Stern, do you plan on going back on Howard Stern? Fuck uh, Howard Stern. No, I don't intend to go back on Howard Stern. I was never intending to go on Howard Stern. They snuck into my chat room. They recorded what I said. Nothing I can do about it. And I don't really give a shit because I didn't say anything to those fucking Jewish assholes 
that I wouldn't have said in public or on ABC or NBC. And, of course, that's why I don't get on ABC or NBC. Well, I, I think, you know, I, I, mean, I, I think you're true, and I think that's why I was glad you went on Howard Stern, that you, you could talk to them, and maybe if you could go back on his show, you could reach a bigger audience. They'd have to, they have to steal me, my voice, my opinion. They have to steal from me because they're Jews and they don't want to pay for my opinion. They don't want to pay to have me on my show. And well, the last time point. they tried that, the last time they tried that was this, was this Ali G. Bruno, who came to interview me at my expo, the American Expo down in uh, uh, Atlanta. Being able to do what you want, say what you want, without government looking over your shoulder, without government's uh, hand in your pocket, without the Jewish hand in your pocket. Yes. They would you know, and Oscar, they, you know, the government is run by Jews. Freedom in Oscar is a lot about being able to walk down the street with my boyfriend Diesel, just holding hands and without people staring at us. Is that what you're campaigning for? Well, I'm not uh, too hot on your right to hold hands with your boyfriend, but what you do in the privacy of your home, as long as you stay away from my kids, I have no problem with what yeah. you do. Well, you try to recruit my kids uh, uh, in any way, then you would have a problem with me. So, Clay, you got a kind of very manly look. When did you get to be so cute? When I was born. You're so good looking, and don't you know it? I like women. Thank you anyway. So, you are bi? No, I'm not bi. And I'm not gay. And uh, if, you wanna, if you're going to speak on that subject, you can take a hike. You're not my type. Is it because I'm too fat? No. But is it what I look? I've been I've really jet lagged. Your like interview's time. over. You want to be a professional? Be a professional. Don't be so. After well, it was over, he started trying to figure it out like, uh, you know, he let his J's out. Come out and I turned him, hey, man, this interview's over. And I well, jumped off the stage, and he ran out the door, and I walked over and took the film out of the fucking cameraman's hands and told him, you got five seconds to get out of my goddamn building. <laughs> or I start well, taking your equipment. Well, I noticed, you're, I noticed you're starting to interrupt me, which I don't appreciate, but do you plan on going back on the Howard Stern show anytime soon? Fuck no. Well, I was wondering, because if you go back on his show, I think that would be good. So I was just wondering, would you be able to tell me when you plan on going back on his show? Yes. No, you're, you're kind of like those Howard Stern fans, man. I really hate that. I really hate that. You're a dumb motherfucker, and I don't talk to dumb motherfuckers. Goodbye. So Hello? Yeah. Hey, let's keep you're talking. You're alone, you're talking. Let's, let's discuss something. I've tried to hear you. I can hear you. If, you're, if you would move your mouth and utter some words here, I can hear maybe I hear you. Everybody else can hear you. Hello? Hello? Uh, uh. Yeah, hello. Okay. Hello? Goodbye.
I understand, but I'm, I really just want to talk to Mr. Douglas, please. please. You, you just did for the last time, you fucking stupid redneck. Jesus Christ. Please. You, please. You, nine, one, nine. Good morning, Clay. How are you doing? I'm fine. Who Clay, this is... Uh, I'm Jeff from the uh, Charlotte, Winston, Salem, Greensboro area. Um... I got to tell you, I, I have a different topic, but it would have been interesting if that spider monkey um, alien story turned out to be true. I, I would have liked to have heard more, but he, he dropped the call. What I was going to say is I've, I've heard you talk, and it sounds like you've been uh, reaching people for over 40 years, your career span. <laughs> Go ahead. Why yeah, some of, your callers right are, some of your callers are practically brain dead, I think. But what I wanted to say is I, I have a, a true life story about how your story really does reach a lot of people. Um, this one was kind of in a bummer kind of way, and I was hoping we could we could change it. Um, last week I called in. Uh, I was the one who I, I had heard the plugs for Dell's Cafe, and then your comment was, you said, anybody who does business with me or eats with me, they'll die. And you said, my egg foo young sucks. And since then, my business has completely tanked, and I don't know what to do. So I, I was hoping maybe you and I do that and, and just come to some sort of a resolution because I did pay for Steve's Confederate package. I mean, I spent twelve fifty. You, you deliver. You get your money from Steve because I have nothing to do with Steve. He's a lying piece of shit, and I don't, I don't know where see, you I don't, are. I don't know who you are, and I'm sorry, Steve got to you. Too bad you're uh, not, not. I have one other. Stuff. I have one other question. I have one other question. Is it possible we could just settle this right now, and you could just say, "I like his eggs so young, but I love cream of some young guy." Goodbye. You're a dumb motherfucker. Goodbye.